Mid-Am Heat Race number one is green. Away they go, Timmy Stewart to the early lead. Cameron Vandermeer in second. They get single file, Cody Club up near the wall. Danny Calhoun settles into fourth, trying to get up to Clay Kurtz for third. Good start for Timmy Stewart. He and Vandermeer pulling away. Cameron Vandermeer closing up on Timmy Stewart for the top spot. Mark Pooler in the 54, gonna take a look to the inside of Steve Blair for fifth, cannot quite do it yet. Clicking him off quickly in the first mid-am heat. Cameron Vandermeer, the young man at 32, turning up the wick, going after Timmy Stewart for the race lead. Looks to the inside, dives it in a little hard, sideways, and Vandermeer to the wall. Well, they both did a pretty good shot, job of saving it off of each other. But just, I tell you, Cameron Van Meer, he's just a teenager. And he really finding the limits of that car. Threw her on into the corner. And he, I mean, he had her dead sideways in the third corner. And that happened all the way through the corner. Him and Timmy Stewart kind of dislodged. But then Cameron still had a handful of race car. Noses it into the turn four wall, which is kind of unusual. You don't see much of that here at this place. And I think will he be able to roll it down a hill? Safety crew gonna come out. And I think they'll be able to at least get Cam down the hill, which is good. Whether he drives away or not is another thing. It might have took, which is not good for the race car, but it might have took a pretty good head-on impact into that turn four wall. And they will need the record. Uh, one lap from green to get him off. It's a big one. Face vehicle to the infielder in the hands of Clay Kurtz. He's your race leader with five laps complete in the first heat race for the Bid-Am Racing Series presented by Wilkins Rebuilders Supply and Brookfield Resource Management. Come to green off the of four. Kurtz out to the lead. Pleur trying to get to the back end of Steve Blair, who's closing up on Calhoun. Second, third, and fourth, and pretty close step as they make their way out of turns three and four. And Cody Club might pull the plug and head to the pit area. Club off the track. Three laps to go for Clay Kurtz. Smoke from Blair's 74 car as Blair tries to make a move on him. Two laps to go this time by for Clay Kurtz in car number 88. Blair takes a look, not quite. White flag coming this time by. One lap to go for Kurtz. Calhoun making a little run at it. He's going to need a little help. Floor rides it in hard on the back end of Blair, who wiggles into one. Floor takes a look to the bottom. Checkered flag coming this time by. It's going to be Clay Kurtz winning the first mid-am heat of the day. Mark Pleur goes fourth at 54. Steve Blair holds on to third in the 74. Danny Calhoun goes runner-up in con number four. And your race winner of the first of three heat races for the mid-am racing series here this afternoon at the Rockford Speedway is a con number 88. Out of Moni, Illinois. How about a nice hand for Clay Kurtz? Clay Kurtz has come a long way in about a handful of years driving a race car, four cylinder type cars, up into mid am cars. Has done a great job. He'll be in the mix this afternoon. Get your 50 50 tickets. They're selling to 50 50s through the grandstands. Kishwaukee Valley Chapter of Abate selling 50 50. One ticket for $1, six for five, 14 for 10, 36 tickets for 20 bucks.
We'll draw it later in the day, somewhere in the neighborhood of Big 8 Showtime.